How did you find the story for Centigrade, your movie? When you look it up online, I don't see an actual story of the, I, I see parts of stories that are like that. Is that something you pieced it together or? Yeah, so, I mean, the original script was written by a writer named Daley Nixon. Um, and I found his, his script on a site called Ink Tip, um, which I've, you know, had actually had a great success at finding things there and, 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 you know, finding writers that have never been discovered or, or have or been produced. And, um, you know, I came across his log line. I read, I read the script and I was like, just really, you know, captured by this story. Uh, and I did the same thing. I, I rent, I went and I, started Googling the, um, you know, the event and saying, like, I can't find this event anywhere. I got on the phone with him. I was like, look, I love the script. Um, you know, what's the, which story is it? And he said, I go, I found this man, this Swedish uh, man that, you know, is that what it is? And he said, yeah. That was based off of that story. Um, and then that in, that inspired you know the 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 idea and the story and then he added some other stories and then me and him kind of talked and the more that i you know as we went through like the optioning process the more i did research on um you know people getting stuck in snow people driving on the side of the roads pulling over getting stuck in snow um i just saw it everywhere um there's a film that was done, I think, there was a story, a very famous story about a couple and their baby being stuck in the snow in 1989. Uh, I, I, should, I should look up that story before any of these uh, interviews, but uh, it, did, it turned into a, a, a kind of shoddy TV movie, but it was a couple that was stuck in the snow with their baby for, I don't know, seven days or four, or, three or three days until they eventually, the husband walked off to try to get help. Um, there was a story about a grandmother who was stuck on the side of the road for 10 days. There was a story about a woman who had to give birth in her car in the snow with her husband. So it just, uh, you know, it seemed like there was just so many different stories that we could kind of put in as we kind of rewrote the script. Um, I del I tried to put in a lot more of their kind of relationship, and 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 deal with that with him, with uh, daily, and um, you know the process of just kind of finding new, you know, taking this research and these stories and and, and having that's why we say inspired by actual events because it is it's inspired by many different stories. It's like an amalgamation of different stories and research and survival experts and, you know, what you can't, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Um, you know, I had a DP friend of mine that read this uh, script and, uh, or, or one of the many versions of the script, and he mentioned um, in Montreal that when you rent a car or when you drive in the, in the mountains, they tell you to keep a candle in your in your glove box because the heat of a candle will help warm the inside of a car if you get stuck and so we were and then I you know looked up uh, you know these these kind of packs these survival packs that were in cars um, and uh, and it was true it was just such a you know it was like okay this is a great thing for them to 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 have and then what do you put in that car and like how do you do it so it was really taking it was taking uh, real stories uh, kind of meshing them all together and you know doing the diligence of like research and going like, and 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 you know how you deal how your character should deal with this situation um, that kind of got us to to centigrade so you found the script on ink tip and then you went and revised it yourself and added different other elements to it? Yeah, I did it. I mean, Daly and I passed the script back and forth. Um, uh, but yeah, that's how, that's how it went. I found it on Ink Tip. Um, I optioned the script from him. Um, 
we went back and forth on changes that I wanted to do. I wrote, you know, scenes and changes that weren't in there. Um, uh, and that, that's, that's pretty much how that went. How long of a process was that? Once you found it on InkTip and you thought, you know what, this would be a great idea to do this and, and, and I'll kind of mold it in my own way or do it in one scene, you know, one, one location for the most part. What was that process like? Like how long did it take to actually get it to production from the time you saw it on InkTip? Well, uh, I wish I had an actual date for you. Um, I want to say that this script, I mean, this script took off faster. I was, I was in the middle of pushing another script at the time. Uh, and I was in a meeting with a production company. Um, uh, and they go, and I was pushing a, a, this boxing film that, that me and my uh, producing partner, Bradley Ross, who was also the editor on the film, uh, we were pushing the, this, this project and they go, nah, it's not really what we're looking for. They're like, what else do you have? And we're like, well, we have this, this other movie that we just kind of started. Uh, it's about two, it's about a married couple that's like stuck in a car in the snow and uh, you know, they pull over during a snowstorm and like the whole thing kind of takes place with them like stuck in their car. And they're like, that sounds great, let's do that. <laughs> um, and you know, it, it, funny enough, that was not even the company we ended up working with. Uh, but we 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 saw it kind of take its own inertia. Like it slowly started to like we got it. We I started the writing process back and forth. But as we were writing, you know, we started to slowly kind of shop it around and get some interest. Uh, and we found uh, uh, Fife in Pictures, Molly Connors and Amanda Bowers. Uh, through a friend of mine, Vincent Morano, who eventually produced the, the movie with us. Um, and they fell in love with it, and it kind of, the film started to snowball once we, you know, I hate using that term uh, with this film, but once M M Molly and Amanda, you know, and Vincent kind of came on with Brad and myself, you know, they kind of, you know, Molly was very great at kind of like pushing and saying like, well, let's just set a date to this. Like, can we do this now? Like, how quickly can we get this done? And I was like, well, the script is pretty much done. Like, let's let's move this. Full, you know, we, I can move that forward fairly quickly. And she started to have me meet with actors and send the the script out to people um, as they went out for financing. And I, I want to say that we met. We probably. I want to say we met in like a March, and we shot in August. So it was pretty. That, that's, from my experience, that's pretty fast. Um, to go from like, maybe we got the script in February or January on Ink Tip, and to be in production by August is, you know, I can't, I mean, I can't, haven't been able to get anything else off the ground that fast. Um, and it, it, you know, it, it, it took on its own energy. We, you know, we found the people who, you know, we found the investors that wanted to do it. The you know the producers kind of hit the ground like raising the money. I was talking to actors, trying to like you know feel actors out, see who would you know be into like the kind of kind of not so normal or not so uh, usual ways that we wanted to shoot this. Um, and we found you know Vincent Piazza and Genesis Rodriguez uh, were a, you know Vincent was somebody that Molly Connors had already known. Uh, and uh, we, you know, we had a great meeting, and you know, they were completely on board. And you know, and uh, probably a month, probably a month or two after that, we were going into production.